Welcome. This is the Dentist News Network. The current economic situation has found many people well without dental insurance and some having trouble finding adequate dental care. Uh, my guest today is Dr. Roger Briggs with Briggs Family Dentistry in Scottsdale, Arizona. Dr. Briggs, thanks for joining us again. Welcome back. So how can you find the dentist that is right for you? You know, that's a question that I, when I meet people at a party or something, they ask questions, and I know really what they're trying to find out is if I'm the guy that's right for them. Um, oftentimes, people look at dentistry, even though we're in the healthcare provider arena of professional services, they don't look at us like real doctors because they'll ask me, how much is a filling or how much is a crown? And, uh, and so they're thinking more in terms of dentistry is almost a commodity like laundry soap or wireless minutes on your cell phone when actually it's a professional service. When you look at the profession of dentistry, it really is a profession and quite frankly there are great dentists and then there's dentists that are not so great. Um, I'm quite sure that when you hop on that next airplane to fly someplace, some of those pilots are really, really good and some of them maybe are not quite so good but they got the job. So when you go get professional services in a dental office, uh, even great dentists can have a difficult time with difficult circumstances and maybe not arrive at a result that you're looking for. Similarly to airline pilots, when they're trying to make that landing, sometimes they gotta go around. Uh, the neurosurgeon may not always get the greatest results that you're expecting. The lawyer may not be able to get you off uh, but he can help you out a lot. So it's the same thing with dentistry. When you're looking professional services for dentistry, that's exactly what you're looking for, a professional service to take a circumstance that's not good in your life and try to make it better for you. So because it's, it's a professional service, <coughs> you're, you're gonna wanna talk to professionals to help you find uh, a good dentist. Uh, one of the things I always suggest to people, because oftentimes I'll have a patient that moves to another part of the country um, I'll tell them call specialty offices when you get there and ask them who they use for their own dentist or uh, ask them who they would recommend because they see the work of a lot of, of uh, primary care dentists uh, every day and they can tell you uh, a quality dentist if that's what you're looking for. Now certainly there's a lot of people, they really in these economic times especially need to rely on their dental insurance. <coughs> So when you're selecting a professional, sometimes you must go to the dentist that's on your plan. Um, you know, there's kind of a, I hate to even bring it up, but you could call the uh, dental board of your state um, to make sure that your dentist has a, uh, credentials without a lot of uh, complaints behind it. When you're selecting a dentist, we've really got some great consumer uh, programs available to us. Uh, there's programs like Angie's List um, and lots of, of professional evaluating services. Not all of them are accurate in every way, uh, but that's a good place to start as well. Another good way of finding a, a dentist that is right for you is call around. Talk to them uh, on the phone. When you get a list of two or three, ask if you can come over and just uh, see the office and maybe even meet the dentist or he, maybe he'll have time to speak with you. And that way you can, you can start to see what the facilities are like, see what the staff's like. I often tell my patients when they're moving someplace else, you find an office that has a happy staff, you're gonna find a dentist that's probably working in an environment providing the best care. Uh, Dr. Briggs, a competition with regards to fees now is very common. How do you know that the fees are a good value? You know, a good value is, is, um, is not always associated with using your dental insurance. Uh, many dental practices that don't accept dental insurance can still be a great value. Um, I, I can assure you that trying to process dental insurance forms, if you've signed up to be a provider for a lot of dental uh, insurance plans, requires that we have to hire more staff and it requires a lot more time consuming, a lot more uh, things that add to the cost, uh, are my basic cost to deliver a care for my patients. So what we found is many times you'll find that a great value 
is in a practice that doesn't sign on to be a provider for lots of insurance companies. Um, if you're not a provider for insurance companies and you're free to, to have a direct relationship with a patient, you can spend more time with them. You have opportunities to provide more services because you're not limited to just recommending the things that the insurance company might dictate. So oftentimes the great value comes from an insurance-free practice. You know, when it comes to evaluating whether you have a fair fee or not, many of my patients have asked me uh, about the coupons that they get inundated with at their home. And, you know, my response is dentistry is one of those things that oftentimes you can get into a great practice uh, where you got a coupon at your home and they were just hoping that you'd come in and see what they're like and so they provided that, I think, in business they call loss leader. Uh, but in many cases, uh, those loss leaders are to entice you into doing something where they can sell you a lot more. Uh, so one of the things that I might suggest is that if you do go in and you do uh, use that coupon that you received at home, uh, follow your instincts, and if you feel comfortable there, then take it a little bit at a time. You know, in in our computer age, uh, most of the dentists that I know, in fact, I don't know a dentist that doesn't have a web page of some sort. And there's so many consumer advocate uh, uh, things that you can find on the internet that can help you research these kinds of things. You can find out about your dentist's experience and, and how credentialed they are. Um, but as far as fees go, uh, there's an organization called fairhealthconsumer.org and uh, I would encourage anybody to visit that website. Um, it's, I think it's a free website, and it will help you to be able to evaluate fees, what insurance coverages are, and, uh, and how your dentist might fall into that. Thank you, Dr. Briggs. It's been a pleasure. My guest has been Dr. Roger Briggs with Briggs Family Dentistry in Scottsdale, Arizona, here on the Dental News Network.